The DAP is an application that operates on a decentralized network. It combines a smart contract and a front-end user interface. The benefits of DAPs include user privacy protection, freedom from censorship, and the flexibility of development. There are a few challenges in DAPs as well, such as those in scalability, developing a user interface, and editing the coding. Building large-scale, fully decentralized applications is a challenge, but it turns out the hurdles have to do with more than just scaling. Today we will investigate a platform that aims to solve the scalability problem for decentralized applications, DAPs. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. In this video, we will investigate Chromia blockchain, which has become very popular in the crypto markets. Bad user experience, high fees, frustrating developer experience, poor security. This prevents decentralized apps, dApps, from going mainstream. The Chromia team believes that, to address these problems properly, there is a need to rethink the blockchain seriously. Architecture and programming model with the needs of decentralized applications, allowing dApps to scale to millions of users. Improving the user experience of dApps to achieve parity with centralized applications. Allowing developers to build secure applications via using familiar paradigms are their priorities. But how can they achieve this? Let's discover together. Chromia was developed to be a blockchain that is a shared database. Chromaway, they first developed Postchain, the first open source relational blockchain. Chromia, and at its core Postchain, was developed to be a response to above issues. On launch, Chromaway will select a diverse pool of providers, like miners of other blockchains. Providers own and control nodes that produce blocks. It has been suggested that the four largest mining pools of both Bitcoin and Ethereum could exert significant control over those networks if they colluded. To run the Chromia software, Chromaway believes that they will be able to make fair and diverse decisions to confirm that each provider is distinct and unique. Then, as the system matures, providers will be able to add new providers and vote so that Chromaway does not act as the gatekeeper. The Chromia has a native token which also serves as its utility or governance token known as the CHR. The dApps on the Chromia platform use the CHR token to settle transaction fees, while the users use the token on the dApps. To sum up, Chromia is built on relational database technology, meaning decades of real-world enterprise technology used in all industries. Chromia can be used as a private, public or hybrid blockchain. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Chromia? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 